Okay guys, today we are going to talk about asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is a one of the very basic type of reproductive techniques that are available between different organisms, right? And this is very, very simple. And this is actually the most simple, I mean simplest type of reproduction process that is available, right? Now the characteristic feature of asexual reproduction you know all we know about reproduction is generating of other organism from the existing one right so reproduction means production of a new organism from the existing old one right say this one so this is the organism and we are producing a new one from the existing that's called the reproduction now in asexual reproduction the same way of new organism is generated and the new organism that is generated is containing all the characteristics similar to the existing type of organism. That means in all kind of reproduction we have different uh, generations, right? We have generations. So majorly two types of generation we will deal with. One is parent, parental generation, another one is you know daughter generation right so we are producing the daughter from the parents right now during this process the characteristics of the daughter cells or the daughter organism will be same like the characteristics of the parent and it will be exactly just like the same that's why we can call it we can call this daughter cells as a clone as a clone to their parental cell types, right? Suppose the parent is having a particular one nucleus, one vacuole and the daughter of that cell will also contain one nucleus, one vacuole. Not only they contain them, but the amount of all the materials inside the cell will also be the same, okay? So that they can also develop into the mature one and give rise to another individual. And we know that reproduction is the most important, this is one of the most important feature of a living organism, right? So for an organism to be or to, to say to be living, it should reproduce, right? So if you look at the one example of this re reproduction, so if you look at the example here, a very simple example for this reproduction will be the budding, budding of yeast right so if you look at here the structure of yeast it's it looks something like this so this is the yeast this is the nucleus this is how it looks now what happens actually the yeast is containing you know it is uh, the cell is con consisting of nucleus cytoplasm and all the other materials are inside so all the other organelles let's say they are also inside right so once the yeast cell wants to divide and give rise to a daughter yeast, it causes the process of what is called as budding, right? So they form bud-like structure. So what happens actually, so this is the yeast cell existing and then this cell start to pull the, pull the cytoplasm towards a particular direction of the cell membrane. So as it is pulling the cytoplasm towards the direction of the cell membrane, the cell membrane starts to pinch out like this. In the next stage, it starts to pinch and start to form a structure like this. Now remember this structure very importantly because you know, if you look at it very carefully, there are some pinch like structures start to form between the larger part of the cell and the smaller part of the cell right and this pinch will ultimately will be joined and once it is joined it will form a newly synthesized cell a miniature cell which is just exact replica of the existing yeast right so as it is moving on after certain time this will join and it will produce the cell but remember during this process during the production of this cells what you have talked here we are talking about the separation of cytoplasm and also not only the separation of cytoplasm 
but also the cell membrane which is surrounding the cytoplasm. Now during this process, this nucleus is very very important we all know. So nuclear material also should be shared with the daughter strain or daughter, D, daughter cell right. So for that reason during this process this nucleus of yeast also start to move towards the newer compartment. So as the nucleus is moving I mean the nuclear content obviously inside the cell is duplicated right because you know uh, the cell division will occur and during this process the nuclear content should be same in the parent and in the daughter. So for this to happen the nuclear content is already duplicated and then the, the then two different copies of the nucleus right. So each and every chromosome that is present have two copies here. So those, those one copy will be retained by the older cell and the new copy will be, will be received by the newer bud. So during this process this nuclear materials also start to migrate towards that newly forming bud. So as it is migrating it will look something like this, it will look something like this, like a dumbbell shaped structure right. As you can see here the nuclear materials can kind of form, forming a thread, thread like line between the bud and the old yeast and then after certain time once the nuclear transport is complete, I mean the nucleus material transportation is complete to the bud then the cell membrane will join and as the cell membrane joins here it will form a new bud, it will form a new yeast cell actually. We no longer can call it a bud, now it will be called as the daughter, daughter yeast cell right and this is the mother yeast. So that is how the cell division occurs and actually this asexual reproduction is very very easy it is nothing but a cell division remember it is nothing but a as you can see here it is just a simple cell division process right. Generally the asexual reproduction is carried out by the organisms they are single cell organisms like yeast so only one cell so the whole organism is consisting of only one cell single cell organism and as they divide their cell it will produce a new progeny so that is called the rep reproduction for them right. So a cell division is called a reproduction for the single celled organisms and these things is similar to you know the reproduction process of amoeba. Amoeba is another animal it is a you know prokaryotic animal and in case of amoeba also they produce all the materials inside duplicate the genetic material inside then they transfer those genetic material in both the compartments and then they separate from each other to produce uh, exact look uh, looks alike daughter cell right. So actually it, it is far more convincing if you look at the uh, division of amoeba here. So let us say this is this is the structure of amoeba and inside the amoeba let us say here is let us say this is the nucleus that they start to form at the earlier stage then we have other structures like you know vacuoles or other things whatever whatever things present. Now the cells start to go big and bigger as they start to accumulate more cytoplasm and also more nuclear materials and so on. Once it gets bigger and it gets the signal to divide in that case it starts to separate I mean it start to form two lobe like structure two lobe like structure say something like this and then this nuclear material that are inside start to migrate from each other to both of these lobes and this, this division of the nucleus should kept equal right and during this process the other materials like the vacuoles or all the, all the other materials whatever present in cytosol also start to migrate towards those different lobes right looks like a scary people right now anyways now after that these two cells further create a structure like this and here we go nucleuses are already separated along with all the other materials and then finally this lobe this this membrane start to come closer and join with each other. 
So as they join, what they form? They form two miniature amoeba, right? Containing two nucleus and all the other necessary materials inside. So this is the whole process of cell division and asexual reproduction in in uh, you know in amoeba as well as in yeast that we, we have saw right we've seen. So after that, there are further examples of this kind of asexual reproduction in uh, plants. You know, in higher plants also. Usually in animals you won't see asexual reproduction in higher animals like you know. Uh, mostly eukaryotic animals like you know like us or like mammals or reptiles or birds you won't see asexual reproduction because this type of reproduction are very preliminary type and it is only found in certain types of organisms like amoeba or yeast something like that right in certain types of protozoa on the other hand this asexual reproduction can be found in higher plants in higher plants so, if you look at this type of reproductive process in higher plants, for example, you may have seen, you know, potato, potato, right. So, what we have in potato, we have eyes of potato, right, it looks something like this, eyes of potato. Now, these eyes of potato right or sometimes you can also see some bud like structure germinating out sometimes you may see a, a kind of green leafy like structures coming out from the potato now these type of things this eye of potato or you know so this eye of potato or buds of potato these are the indications of asexual reproduction in plant potato you know potato is a higher uh, plant, but still it has this kind of uh, asexual reproduction. It is also common, you know, in uh, in other things like, uh, for example, in ginger, you can see the rhizome in ginger, right? The nodules that are present in ginger. So, that is also common in ginger, mostly ginger, potato, right? Or you can find in, you know, uh, so, so these are the examples. And for the animal asexual reproduction, there are certain structures that help in this asexual reproduction, right. For example, we have seen uh, such structure which is one of these called bud in yeast, right. And uh, this process of asexual reproduction is called binary fission, remember I forgot to mention. This process of re asexual reproduction in yeast, uh, in amoeba is termed as amoeba is termed as binary fission, binary fission, binary bi means two, fission means separation, right. So, uh, generation of two hemisphere of cell from one, so binary fission, right. And some other structures included, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, zoospores that are found in Chlamydomonas, that is also common or you can you may see conidia in penicillium right you can see all the structures if you look at the penicillium structure penicillium structure something like this right and from it it produces lots of structures like that it will go up like that and ultimately at the end you can see something like this this ultimate structure that we can find in penicillium these things are termed as a conidia, conidia of penicillium. So, these are the asexual reproductive structures, right. So, that is kind of it guys about asexual reproduction and I hope that is helpful. Thank you.